Sponsored by Ukrainian Credit Union. Believe it or not, it's Ron Kahoot with Stay Ukrainian, my friends. We're Cossack children of history. We're backstage at the Opera House. Um, in in um, in Vienna, that opera house. Uh, That'd little, be a, a cool, little wouldn't further it? off. Just one day. Yeah, one absolutely, day we'll absolutely. Sure. We're in the opera house in downtown Toronto, Queen Street East, around Broadview, and we're getting ready for uh, a show with uh, Lemon Bucket Orchestra. I'm here with Mark Matchik, who's sort of the brains behind the whole thing, aren't you? You can say that now. Nobody's listening. More the brawn than the Is brains. The brain, yeah. Yeah. Now the purpose. You're going to Ukraine again. You're going to Ukraine. We are. Yeah. Performing or what is it this time? Uh, we're doing a couple things. We're, we're playing at a few festivals, ones in Western Ukraine, and, and then we have a few over Eastern Europe, but we're also going on a, a ethnographic research tour. So we're going to Verkhovena and then to uh, Popovici in Western Ukraine and spending some time with, uh, with the, uh, the local musicians there to learn a little bit of the, the, the old, the sort of age-old traditional forms and, and styles to bring it back here to people. Now, you guys have this all set up, or are you going there and winging it? Uh, no, we have it all set up. Uh, I, I did a few winging it uh, excursions myself to get it all set up first, and uh, but this time everything is planned and we're going there. Many, many, many sponsors. Yeah. In particular, you see you, you can credit. That's right. Yeah, they're a, they're a, a major sponsor for us. They've uh, I've been uh, in in touch with Yuri Dyakonchuk from from Ukrainian Credit Union for a, a few years now, and he's been great uh, at you know helping us and talking through ideas and you know a variety of uh, a variety of different ways. They bought a block of tickets. They gave us a big chunk of cash to make the tour happen. So, you know, we're Nothing indebted. like getting some dough, huh? When you have expenses like we do, you 17 really? people. 17 people flying to, to Europe. Yeah, yeah, that shouldn't be too bad. Uh, The place looks like it holds about 250, which is good because they've sold 850 tickets. One of the major sponsors, not only for tonight, but for Lemon Bucket and their trip to Europe, is the Ukrainian Credit Union. And uh, Yuri's assistant, is that what you are? Oh, graphic designer. Stin is here from the Credit Union, and we'd just like a little, a little take on your sponsorship. Absolutely. Um it's definitely very important for us at the Ukrainian Credit Union Limited to sponsor the youth, uh, the arts, definitely uh, to continue supporting the culture and um, Lemon Bucket Orchestra and their upcoming ethnographic research tour in uh, Europe. That's a good one, ethnographic. I'm going to use that as an excuse to go to Italy and, and France. <laughs> ask you a musical question. Sure. I've done a lot of Romanian stuff and I've done a lot of this off stuff and that and I want to ask you as a North American mm. when you're doing something in seven or you're doing something in five mm -hmm. are you thinking five and seven or are you thinking three and four and two and three or do you just what I was instructed to do is just play the song? Uh, what I think generally is pivo pivo vodka pivo pivo vodka pivo okay. pivo vodka. 
So yeah, you 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 try to internalize the actual faults of it, or are you exactly? You know, a little bit of a few few drinks here and there, and yes, a little pivot, a little helps. vodka, and uh, internalize that rhythm, mix it all. Because I found with a lot of pivot, something written in eight actually comes out in seven sometimes. <laughs> so, so, sometimes, so man. it does. Because you guys have that stuff down. I mean, the rehearsal must be incredible. You, it, like there must be a because you're so tight and everybody moves. So this is all. This is all. Yeah. Well, in other words, if you play this thing ten times in a row, will it be almost the same way ten times in a row? Uh, sometimes it depends. There's, I mean, we li we leave a little bit of leeway for some improvisation, but but we definitely spend a lot of time in rehearsal, repeating, repeating, and, and trying to internalize that rhythm. For a lot of guys, when they came into the band, it was sort of very fresh, very new, but they were really eager to to get into this, uh, you know, that zone, that feeling that that we all get when we're dancing to it or when we hear it and and um, and then we just practice practice. Do you find it a little more difficult for those that don't have a particular ethnic background? Not at all. No, like the white no. bread guys don't have or do you have any no, white bread man. guys? No, we got a whole bunch of uh, you know, a whole bunch of brothers with soul. Yeah. Right? For sure. And they uh, I mean everyone is just such an incredible musician. Oh, they have yes. Very very diverse backgrounds from punk music to uh, to uh, uh, classical, to jazz, to sort of folk, the folk tradition, and everybody brings their own sort of background into the band and and into the music, and, and what comes out is uh, as long as everybody's kind of on it and, and mm -hmm. rehearsing hard, and what comes out is sweet. This has to be heart. This can't be cerebral. This has yeah. got to be from the heart, doesn't it? For sure. It's got to be sure. from the heart with the emotion because that's what makes the music. Once you try, try to cerebralize this stuff. It just becomes, work. it gets too cold and, and yeah. mistakes are made and things like that. Well, yeah. you guys are absolutely phenomenal. Thank you. Wish you all the best. How long are you going away this time for? Uh, we're going away for three weeks and we'll be in uh, in Romania and Slovakia and Ukraine and, and Serbia. Wow, that's great. So it's sort of the homeland. Yeah, that's right. Well, it's yeah. a homeland for many people and we're going to bring a piece of that back for everyone in Toronto. So when you guys go there, you guys busk as well? Like, Of course. That's sort of the bread and butter of this band. We started as a street act, and, and uh, um, you know we're going to continue to do that and bring the bring the music to people and sort of ask them what it's worth to them. And that's yeah. that's a big part of it. Well, it's fabulous. It's fabulous. Moses Neymar said you're the best damn band around. Remember when he said that? I do remember. Yeah. We see. Did I you still... pay him for that, or did he just say that? Because he, he's no, he doesn't he... he doesn't hand it out often, you know. He paid us. At a boy. Yeah. <laughs> At a boy. Well, I wish you Shislevi Dorohe all the best on your trip. Uh, they're going to Ukraine, they're going to Romania, Serbia, but you're not going, are you? Got a baby. Huh? Again, I'm not going again. This is the third time they're going. It's the third time I'm not going. <laughs> you had a baby. I did have a baby, yes. <laughs> so you're going to have me change the diapers, I but could. that wouldn't sit right with, yeah, with, with some people. Yeah, yes, yeah. I'm aware of that. Fanfare, Lemon Bark, and Orchestra. It's going to be a fantastic show. Great energy, beautiful people. Tonight is the night. Fanfare Giocarlia. Yeah. What does that mean? Uh, it means uh, uh, the the band of the larks song. Really? Yeah. So these are Romanian gypsies? They are. Cool. These guys, huh? uh, they're from the village of Zeshe Prajin, and, uh, you know, they're the fastest, fiercest Roma brass band on the planet. Mm -hmm. uh, I'll stand Next by those guys. words. Well, we're not a Roma brass band. Uh, and you know we're fast you guys and fierce, are fast but, and fierce yeah. but uh but you know one of the things that we're really excited about is is bringing people to you know authentic uh eastern european folk culture and these guys are as real as it gets so it's a really really big honor for us to be sharing the stage with them Sponsored by Ukrainian Credit Union, believe it or not, it's Ron Kahoot with Stay Ukrainian, my friends. We're